Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Tykerson here. And Shadow Koo. So it looks like today we are going to be playing Super Robot Wars 5! Just came out February 23rd this year, so I'm excited. Are so there cool. other... So have you played any of the other five of this game? Oh, dude, there's... There's the main series that we're playing now, and then there's the spinoff series. I've played, I want to say, about four of them. First one ever being the one they released to the U.S. for the Game Boy Advance. The game. <coughs> yeah, the Game Boy oh, Advance. Dude, I remember you having that. Oh, yeah, I still got it. Super Robot Tyson, the yeah. Tyson series. That's part of the main series that we're playing now. Okay, so there's no intro. Oh, good. <laughs> Dive straight into it. <coughs> They're gonna start you off with choosing either male or female character. Okay. Now I chose male, so I'm not sure if the female characters mech changes. I think they show the mechs. <coughs> well, uh, she she don't look like she's 19. We'll, we'll play. They never do. Yeah. Okay, the mech doesn't change. The mech doesn't change. The mech doesn't change. <laughs> So it's, it's really whether whose side of the story you want to see. <clears throat> oh, but no, all right, I don't care about his name and all that. Well, just to make it easier to know who I am. Heikelson! You can actually put that for your nickname, because they're going to call you by your nickname anyway. So cheap. Then we'll make this real easy for them. <laughs> <laughs> So they were like, let's give you two original characters to choose from to help balance out the craziness of all these worlds coming together that have nothing to do with one another, pretty much. Oh, they have something to do with it. It's just rather which story, which storyline you want to see. Do you want to see how the dude saw it? Because they branch off. I I, I, I don't like, care which way we see it. <laughs> I was like, the only thing that changes is the dialogue. Now the D-pad speeds up text. Look at that. I never tried to skip it because I was actually trying to figure out what was going on in this one. Never! But basically the same thing that happens in every other Robot Wars game is this unknown army from who God knows where is trying to kill all humans. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally just Insert a Insert generic <laughs> story here. Now Zutsu, our future hero, once he's discovered, and his crew. Oh, I get it. You leave it like that and it's just auto... Dude, this looks terrible. Um, like, is this the port or something from the Vita? No. Look, you can see where the map, like... <laughs> <laughs> this is how they make a majority of their games, believe it or not. It's, it's a matter of animation. And there is one other one that's like a side story to the series called OG Saga. Mm -hmm. Totally different. Looks way more realistic than this. So I mean, it's not even that. Just look at this. <laughs> like, it's looking kind of pasty. Like we're, we're at the edge of the map. I get it. <laughs> Man, they so, don't. They so don't they put too much effort in the maps. Is, they they all look like that. Trust me. <clears throat> so I mean, the OG series looks a little different. Um, they actually put trees in their maps. They look they look pretty damn good. Are these original characters as well, or are these people from a show? Oh, these are OG characters. Okay. So that girl, who was that? She was a messenger sent from, I want to say another time. And she was trying to warn everybody that Crystal has the key to get saving all humans. I haven't got that far yet. But from what I have played, she's already dead. Um, <laughs> she's already dead. Her mission failed. She, wow. she, she reached us a little late. So now we got this unknown army coming in. Oh yeah, right there, 100 years later. Whew. Got her coming in, trying to warn us about the um, oncoming doom. But yeah, it's too late, we find out a little late. Damn, what a waste of a life. I know, right? You were the messenger, and your whole purpose was to deliver a message that you ultimately died for. And we found you randomly. Lance I just want to be like, what would have happened if we never found it? You just would have been attacked and be like, oh, shoot. Space <coughs> Battleship Kirishima, the sole surviving battleship of the M Operation. 
makes his way back to Earth with the capsule collected from the escape pod on Mars. At the same time, a man from the moon returns to Earth with another symbol of hope. That's me. That's me, right? <laughs> Am I the symbol of hope? No. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. I don't tried. worry, don't worry, haku yeah. We'll get there. You'll be you'll be the hero soon. What is with these would you put your ass on that chair? Look I mean, look at that, bro. And they look like you know that exercise thing where you you know what? Never mind. I, know, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I forget what they're called. They look like those, but those they, are actual chairs. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> those are actual chairs that look like that. That looks like uncomfortable. <laughs> Sit on these bricks. I wonder if they recline. <laughs> now, because I've never tried to skip these, so. Well, I mean, I got yeah. the dialogue on. Apparently, when you this this over here. You put it all the way yeah, down. You got the, you got the super max speed and all this skips through. Woo! Jeez. To sum up the how fast this is going for people who are trying to keep up that don't want to pause the video and look. Um <clears throat> what's happening is they're getting attacked. We have to get back into the original ship that lasted from the previous Great War. And we got to then we start our journey from there. So right now they're trying to figure out how to activate such a ship, which they eventually figure out. <laughs> so she is dressed like a straight super thought. <laughs> so like you got the plants versus zombies uh, plants right there, man. <laughs> the piranha rat. That's these, what I call these, them. these strategy games that you bring me are super dialogue. They're full heavy, of dialogue, man. man. Except. Uh, like I said, I don't know if you can skip these. I, I feel like the, the last one that you brought, the SD Gundam G Generation Genesis or whatever, mm. I feel like that had a higher budget than this. Oh, it did. The, see, they love their Gundam games. <laughs> they love their Gundam games. They put effort in the Gundam games. The I mean, they put effort in these too, but it's like, they more it's more cartoony. Virtual Sword. It's more cartoony. Like got to the point where I just turned the auto off and started rapid tapping circle because they talk a lot. Like I'm so sad at how much they talk. Like they don't, they do not shut up. <laughs> They'll basically be talking. That's the dead, the dead girl. They're talking about her right now. Her name is Starship. She's talking though. That was the message in the crystal. Ah. The crystal they picked up. That was her warning them about the, what's coming to them now. So now they have to get to a certain <clears throat> colony to even have a chance of winning because they gotta... So when did the crossover characters start showing up? After the prologue. Literally after the first stage. By the second uh, stage. Uh, By the second stage you'll find one of my favorite series, the Crossbone Gundam. Scenario one. A long oh journey. Oh god! If this has anything to do with how long it's gonna take to clear the first map, <laughs> <laughs> we're on Mars. There's your character. All right. All right. So that must be. We're getting closer to actually starting the game. <sighs> Eight minutes later. <laughs> they really love their dialogue. Oh man. It's okay, man. Look, I know when you were alone in the room, you were into it. You oh, probably dude. sit two inches away from the screen, like, oh my god. Oh, we must get to oh, the Yamato. Oh, oh, dude, yeah, I need to. We're in the Yamato's <laughs> hangar. I don't know what's going on for myself. <laughs> Alright, we're at Waiting the bridge. Waiting for the latest installment. Are any of these characters, years. since you've played the other ones, are any of these characters from the old ones? No. No, they're just all new characters. Oh. Wipe the slate clean every time. Why get attached to these people? Sometimes, like I said, they have the main series, and you got the spin-off series. Like, um, what was it? It was one for the DS, and it was just, it was old characters from Super Robot Tyson, the second one on the advance, crossing over <laughs> to a whole bunch of Gundam characters. It was, it was crazy. 
but yeah, this one. Yeah, they they they, they started a clean slate because they waited for this game for like a good two years now. Is this how long I've been stalking it? Dude, I'm definitely gonna have to put a timestamp. Like, oh, this is when it's. Jeez. God, this is when the game actually stops. Oh, right here. I was saying this. What the hell is that? I didn't pay attention to that. I skipped that thing. Can we skip? Ah, options in L1. Skip reading text. How do you get them? Options in R1. There we go. Well, we can we can move on a little fast. This is the events. Um, nothing really fancy happens in these events. So we can skip these two with the L, uh, options L. Yeah, that's what I've been doing it. All right. So what happened? Because we're skipping things because they talk too much. They just blew up the lab. My man's here, Hikusen. Finally got the experimental mech that they've been working on in there. And he thinks that the girl he was talking to, the other protagonist, dies. So we're now piloting the Vangre. So, this so, looks very familiar. Yeah, so we're already good. He he actually has range attacks, you just put him on standby I max. Know, I know, <laughs> I attack. He moves so fast. This, this this shouldn't take us. So I can counter, right? Though. Yeah, you can. Where's the counter out? Start them. Oh, you just. <laughs> but for future reps, because they automatically put the best weapon possible. But if you want to see a specific attack, go to actions. Mm -hmm. When they went on counter menu, you need to change your attack in there. This dude's really good on his reflexes, so. Oh, that's right, he's a starter, so he doesn't have a gun far enough to reach it yet. Now he does. See, his this mech is all range. <laughs> I just... Gamila soldier, target blocked. Miss. Maybe. Yep. Get him side steps. Under underestimate us at your peril. Okay, yeah, he's doing another attack. What's the spirit, spirit command? commands? Unlike. What did I owe? Oh, what just happened? I pressed that button. <laughs> <laughs> All you did was increase your accuracy. He wasn't gonna miss anyway. But oh, yeah. okay. Unlike G generations, where you can only use your skills oh, once, you can use these multiple times as long as you have the spirit power. Yeah, you, you guys good. You can. He's not gonna miss any of these. That'd be pretty embarrassing if they if he did. And we just died in prologue. <laughs> like, <laughs> so we'll never lose to you again. So have they lost to these guys before? Yeah. In the previous ones, they went to war with each other, kind of like Federation versus Zeon type thing in the Gundam universe. The humans versus the hybrids, basically. So EX actions, kind of like G generations, when you kill a lot. Every time you kill, you get points to your EX action. You can use it to move multiple times in one turn or prepare yourself up for one hit killers. <clears throat> but yeah, they went to war with each other previously, so 100 years back. And even between that time, they were fighting each other. Gamilus is saucy basically because they lost, so now they want to destroy all humans. <laughs> so Wait, what so they you... don't know is they're going to get alien help. The Gamilus or humans? The Gamilus. The humans are gonna fight both them and the aliens. Oh. There you go. Think about two more kills. You can use the EX action to move after another kill. In phase, huh? Yeah, sadly. Because we don't have, we don't have a squad yet. So you said hybrids are the robot human hybrids? No, they're they're still humans. They just have like heightened senses, kind of like new types. So how in the world are they able to defeat, able to lose to normal humans? Because unlike new types, they're, they're not that 
spectacular. They're just slightly above average. But I don't, I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. I guess they felt alienated. I want to say. Like, oh, they're, they're gonna take over one day and we're gonna be useless. Killed them. We are their originals. So. I don't think we're gonna chance to get stronger attacks, so we can just skip when the enemy actually dies. What just happened, bro? <laughs> Did you press square pass? <laughs> I was like, wait, what? They're dying in the counter attacks. <laughs> okay. Time to survey the damage. What's the situation? Tokugawa! Look at his eyes, dude, dude. Look at his eyes. Yeah, he was serious. <laughs> he looks like the... What's that meme dog? <laughs> meme dog. The one that got shocked when he told him... The one with those huge eyes. <laughs> so they finally got the ship to work. After panicking. And they end up kidnapping him basically. They don't know who he is. The bad guys or the good guys? Oh, no, these are the good guys. Do they end up kidnapping me? Yeah, because they don't know who you are. They just know you have a mysterious mech in your today. Okay, so I showed up here. I wasn't originally with them. Yeah. No, you uh, was in that lab with the other protagonist chick. Kanye got this DJ right there. The analyzer. <laughs> Except he doesn't ask questions. <laughs> Yamato. The L1 skip's not working anymore. Ah, oh, there we go. You need the go. R1 skip. Oh. Oh, that's L1. You skipped the 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 cutscene that was about to happen. But oh. you didn't warn me. I was about to, and you pressed the L1 as soon as you said it wasn't working, slow. man. Dude. No. That didn't take too long though. That map didn't take like I said it varies. Uh, that was on, 17 uh, minutes with like four of it actually being game. So that's that, that. If you if okay options and R1 skips the text, so you won't miss the the cutscene actions and within maps that actually happens for future rap. But yeah, the, these maps don't take as long as Generation because once you skip the text, ah, I don't believe you, <laughs> dude. Once you skip the text, you're good. I'm skipping now. Am I gonna miss a cutscene? No, not unless you press the L1. I did L1. You skipped a whole event. It's like, <laughs> it's like nothing happens here. It was just them talking. Getting to know each other. I'm gonna press L1 and start again. Am I gonna miss anything? Dude, R1. He's the R1 one doesn't work? The R1's supposed to skip text only, so you don't. Scenario two: The Pirates of Mars. When when do we see the other characters? Now. I'm about to say that's all I want to see. I'm about to see one of them. Is. They look so. They look like little chess pieces. Damn. Oh. I thought he was really hitting from afar like that. Oh, no. no character has that type of range. Unless they got some stupid super weapon. Alright, so... The ship is not gonna get defeated. So we just gotta survive for a couple turns. So we can move him... Towards or far away? Moving towards. They can't kill the ship. Did a couple good hits in if they decide to attack. But just a couple counter attacks just to soften them up for the next hit. Pulse laser! This will be the first substantial battle for the Yamato. Ugly. That's what they are. They have a weird name. <laughs> Shots everywhere! Hits one! Damn. 
Damn near die, 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 my boy. He won't do that shit again. <laughs> I bet you he won't do that again. This is the power of Yamato. You just kill him. All right, right so we're here. gonna move away. Why? We can't kill so him. So we can do a uh, different range attacks. Like, move to the left. Not all the way though. Right here. Yeah. What the fuck? We're mainly just stalling. But we're gonna ultimately kill that gold guy first. He's gonna kill himself by attacking us. Exactly. And after we kill him. <coughs> yeah, after he dies, the gold one, I wanna say. Another character. It's gonna probably it's just gonna be one of them. Scenario. Dude, they do nothing to the ship. Straight to flank <laughs> I would have felt horrible. Oh, there goes my patient. So we did 4,000 to the last guy. He was special. Yeah, so he's dead. I'm about to say, he's a normal compared to the gold one. I don't know if the gold one will even attack. Down! Him. Suicide missions, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he put he busts out the the cheater. How do you the miss ship, that the big shit, shot, shit, bro? bro. Yeah, <laughs> he needs to rethink his career right now. No, he doesn't get the I chance to. He about to die. <laughs> his paycheck is gone anyway. <laughs> Your mom told you you should have became a scholar. <laughs> oh man, I told you gonna shit at the range. Damn. Damn it, Jimmy. He missed the three mile wide <laughs> ship, man. Yeah. <laughs> That is embarrassing, to say the least. Dude, their eyes, except for your guy, they all shine in his. his oh, eyes. yes! Crossbone got them! He has arrived! Who's Crossbone? <laughs> that is one of my favorite from the Gun and Crossbone series. But it doesn't have the original pilot, it has the protege in it. But. Basically, he uses, well, what do you expect the pirate to use? Like, twin daggers, a little pistol, <laughs> fancy rifle. So he's a pirate-themed uh, Gundam. Yep. And so... And he's great. So he's from the anime Gundam Crossbones? Is that mm -hmm. what it's called? Yep. When did that one come out? Like, is it like newer? Is it older? It's older. It's older. I want to say, like, around 2012. When the show actually dropped. <clears throat> Sorry, Gundam fans. Could be wrong. My taste be off. So just Come on, man. You're a Gundam fan, man. You gotta be on top of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nobody told you to keep attacking. Like, I would've been like, well, damn, that kinda hurt. <laughs> Don't think I'm gonna do that again. So... You think he learned his lesson, so we don't have to attack with the ship anymore. We got our dudes here. Like I said, he has no melee, so I wouldn't move him too close. Okay. Yes. They're really gonna get cool. The great Juzo, the 21st Squadron, will annihilate all of you. And this is nothing more than a test. Mech, you said? That's a, that's a, it, it was meant to be a test mech, but it ended up being his name. I haven't gotten far enough to if it shifts or not. I'm pretty sure, because that thing is bulky. And it's nothing but guns. It has no way of countering really melee. So we got crossbone up here. Yeah, we're not going to make the mistake we made with the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Amaro. Yeah, Amaro. <laughs> Tobiah! Toby. I see his name all this. this is another way to fight! Ugh, what just happened to me? New type. Not 
Actually, now I think about it, the crossbow gun is way older than that. It's what? Way, way older than that. For, uh, from 1990. Sorry, 1994. <coughs> Volley of Fire! If you go by the books. The book came out in 1994. <laughs> oh, here we go! Here we go! That thing is dead. I just, I, I, I just, just only saw hell on it. I just, <laughs> like that was unnecessary. <laughs> oh my oh god, man! <laughs> no, we need to kill this motherfucker. <laughs> We're gonna do it, boss. <laughs> that Uncle Rocky's face, <laughs> dude. Yo, is he not done yet? No, he's yeah, he's done. <laughs> The final shots! Oh man! Open <laughs> fire! As he dies in the background. <laughs> He's I not even he, there! You know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should worry about your suit anymore, my boy. I think I just want to play as the Yamato man. I don't <laughs> Dude, give the. <laughs> nah, you gotta give the regulars some love. Oh Because they ultimately are gonna be the ones in the field, so you gotta level them up, man. After you start getting people to eat, it's gonna be old news. I mean, it's called Brand Marker, like... The enemy of Jupiter. Skull Hot! <laughs> he didn't even... He said, meh. <laughs> you straight brush that shit aside, son. Don't make Brenner suffer any more than she already has! He likes chains, man, and lips. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> he's only level one, so he's not strong. Come on, man! You can't, you can't come in all badass and not kill these guys in one shot. <laughs> so what? What shows a crossover on this? On this whole game? Yeah. I, I don't know yet. That's what I'm still trying to figure out. So Which far, it's just Crossbone know? Gundam, um, Evangelion that I know of. You don't need to uh, say the Geico. Geico. Max, but just like, what shows? These are, these are the shows that I know of so far. Like, um, I thought we saw Erika 7 Me on the box. Mm, Erika 7. That's what I'm just saying. I'm not saying again. <coughs> Erika 7. What is it? Mech King? Mech Gaio King? Never could pronounce it. That's all I know so far. Well, besides Char's counterattack, because High New Gundam's in here. So that's a Gundam series. Other than that, I haven't seen anybody from Kogia? I don't know yet. I haven't seen it. At least not yet. Other than that, all, all I've seen is original characters from this game. <coughs> well, from this series. So that's two BD turns. So, he so your dude is right beside that. the ship. Use the Zambuster. But he's right here. Zambuster! I just wanted to see if we could kill him. Use your dude to attack that guy. Cause we gotta let him up too. That's how you know he's dead. Bye. I would love to just do death streams all day for video games. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's like an imp dying. So yeah, we're gonna use your dude to kill that last yeah, one. Yeah, where is it? Holy shit. Jesus. Okay. I never zoomed out that far. Where, where, where are we, bro? Your dude. <laughs> He's gone. Your dude is right there. Oh, oh. There he is. <laughs> he go right here. Can you use this other move? It didn't show. You're, right, you're, you're like mad close, that's why. <laughs> like, it's, it's from at least two spaces away. So like, put him right there and see. Not mm -hmm. good. Alright, we'll just kill him with the park. Now this is two spaces away like you said. Yeah. He didn't kill enough, that's why. I guess. <clears throat> 
They kind of use the Viper system in this one. The more you attack, the more moves you are able to do after. That extra drain. My suit! Uh, do you have to worry about my life? I have to suit with the eject button. So how long do you have to wait before you start seeing, like, the Adeka 7 and all those other people? There are at least eight scenarios in there. Oh! Start seeing others. Well. Other than that, scenario... Scenario... Four? So you see two more from the series, from the Crossbone series, at least. <laughs> man, I just can't... I can't vibe with this, man. I haven't... I don't... I'm mad they put the, you know, the, the Pornhub music here. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> Brazzers! It makes it, it makes it awkward. It makes it awkward? <laughs> Come a little closer, Shadow. <laughs> Come sit next to me. I think I need some Drano. <laughs> <laughs> you miss me with that one. <laughs> okay. Alright, that's it. Yeah! So I was expecting to see more crossover mechs early on in the intro to this game. Uh, doesn't look like we got the amount I was expecting to see, so I feel, I feel like for a game like this, in order to pull people in, they need to have more badass mechs up front in the beginning. Uh, yeah. But, like... this also isn't my typical style of game, so that's why I don't see the same value in it as you do, but what are your thoughts on it? For my thoughts on this game? Uh, unlike Generations, <clears throat> Because every gun that was in there, it's gonna take me some time to get used to this one. But I love the series. I love the series. I just wish the animations were a little more realistic, like in the Gundam ones. But I, I would love to see. I would love to see more mechs in this game. I'm, I'm excited to see what's all the series that's actually crossed over this game. So I'm definitely gonna keep playing this. Yeah, this this is a game that's meant, meant for the fanboys. <laughs> I'll uh. <laughs> I think I would have to pass on this one. I, mean, I, I would leave this one to you. But, well, that's it. Uh, that is that is it for today's playthrough of uh, Super Robot Boys Five. All right, this is Hagerson out. Shadow Coop. <laughs>